the first edition of Historia e Demonstrazioni by Galileo. I'm Adam Douglas from Peter Harrington, and I'd like to show you the first, this first edition of one of Galileo's major works, published in 1613. So I won't torture you anymore with my appalling Italian, but uh, here is the title page giving the uh, full title in Italian, um, as often Galileo published in Italian rather than Latin, which is a um, sort of a way of uh, democratizing science almost, making it more accessible to the general reader. Um, the title page has got this large vignette of the Academy of the Lynxes, which is the society, scientific uh, society that Galileo belonged to, proudly belonged to. You see his title here is given as Galileo, Galilei, Lynceo, uh, member of the Academy of the Lynxes. And the book itself is uh, three uh, long letters addressed to his friend Marcus Velsa, who was also a member of the Academy. Um, this is um, one issue of the book. There was another issue uh, published simultaneously, um, which had um, letters by the Jesuit scientist Shiner also to Velsa. Um, so not material by Galileo, but there were copyright reasons. There had to be two different issues of the book, and they were issued at the same time. Now, this copy has at the foot of the title page a nice little ownership inscription there of a Dutch astronomer, uh, Samuel Kircher. Kircher who uh, uh, made an observation of a comet later in the century, I think 1664, and corresponded with Christian Huygens about that. So uh, 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 not a major scientist like uh, Galileo, but a, um, a significant figure nonetheless. So nice to have that association. So the book itself is uh, Galileo's first um, published endorsement of the Copernican theory. Uh, it comes with very nice portrait of Galileo there, the uh, Villamina portrait. Uh, I always think he looks rather mischievous in that, uh, in that engraved portrait, but he's there surrounded by his, uh, all his status is given in the roundel and a very grand um, architectural surround. But the book is really illustrated, the important illustrations are here in the second part are these sequence of there are 43 woodcuts from Galileo's own drawings and from his own observations and here we see these are sunspots being drawn by Galileo um, through his telescope not directly of course uh, but these are the observations that he made and there are 43 of them in the book there are also, at the end, a couple of other woodcuts of um, a technical nature there. Um, and a few, a few diagrams in the text. So this book, 1613, very early um, uh, work by Galileo that uh, really is a major um, piece by him. The binding in this particular case is not contemporary, strictly. This is an 18th century vellum binding, vellum over um, pasteboards, so it's quite stiff. It's not really very different from the style of binding that the book might have been issued in the first place, but it is later. It has a book plate there of a French, uh, or rather smart French, and with lots of titles, and a coat of arms. And I think that it's almost certain that that is coeval with the binding. So a very nice copy uh, that's been in two uh, interesting libraries of a major work of science by one of the greatest scientists who ever lived. For more information on works by Galileo, other major science, uh, please visit our website.